Okay, let's try this again. Oh boy. Okay guys, let's try this again. I'm so sorry. Um, Jennifer, I am so bad at freaking phones <laughs> and computers and you know, um, I could see uh, Jennifer is, Emmy's watching. Um, can you write? Can you guys write something to see if I can see it? I am a disaster. Hey, yes, yes, I could see comments now. All right, I hope I don't knock this phone down again. I think he did it. He, he's like, I hope she drops the phone. I just, I got this uh, tripod when I did the tutorial, the other tutorial, and my daughter was the one that set it up. But my daughter's not here, so she can't help me. Thank you. Thank you very much for your patience, guys. Um, okay, how about I start before I mess it up again? Hi, Vanessa. Hi, Lisa. Okay. So like I was saying, um, if you guys want, uh, like I was saying before, when you get the template and I'm gonna put it on, hello, Becky, I'm gonna put it on, on the under files. Um, it doesn't really give you the size that you should make uh, the scales. So for a 30 ounce, I made it bigger but not too big because I look the I like the way it looks with a lot of things going on. <laughs> I'm not gonna touch my phone, but I gotta bring it down so you see what I'm doing. That's that's how I mess it up. So and for the 20 ounce, I I made them really tiny. <laughs> um, it took me forever, but I I want to see a lot of things, a lot of the 3D effect on the cup, you know. Um, I do want to tell you something, um, don't get frustrated because when you start over here, it's going to be so easy because they're all going to pair up. When you come up here, then you're going to have some, you know, problem like matching them. Just play with the scales like, I don't know if you could see here, play, play around with the scales. They don't tell you that in the other tutorials. Uh, because when I started doing it, I'm like, okay, now what am I going to do? The space is too big. So just play around. The only thing you don't want is miss a spot. If you, if they not close together, um, when you paint the cup, you'll see. So, you know, just play around with the scales when you come to the bigger part of the cup. You're not going to have that much problem when, with the 20 ounce. But with the 30 ounce, you do. So anyway, who who's gonna say that the freaking dragon scales are all even? You know, like we don't we never seen a dragon. Anyway, let's let's start with the tutorial. I am gonna do this cup. Hi, Cindy. I am gonna do this cup um, with that fast uh, painting technique, so I could start teaching you guys how to make the eyes. Um, I do sell the eyes for five dollars if you don't want to make them, but I am very happy to help you guys with anything I can. Okay, so let me not touch the phone, but I have to bring it down somehow so you guys could see what I'm doing. Okay, don't fall, don't fall. If I miss any comments, because I won't be able to see them. I will get back to you any, I mean, if I can see any questions. I hope you guys could see what I'm doing. Okay, what you wanna do, hi Jennifer, hi Cindy. What you wanna do is, you're gonna use my posh, which I don't know what I did with my brush. You're gonna use my posh to attach the scales. Let me put the scales here because I am blind and I won't be able to see it in this. Uh... 
So you're gonna put Mod Podge on your cup. And you're gonna put my patch on your scales. And then you just put it on what you want it. Now don't be don't worry about oh they're not sticking completely. Once the mud patch dries just a little bit, you could just press it down and play around because it's gonna be wet now. So if you keep you know trying to mess around with them. You know, they're going to be moving. You're never going to finish. So, we'll do the same thing with this one. Now, when you place the scale, you're going to place it, like, merge it with the other one. Just overlap it a little bit. Don't be scared. Make sure that these two meet in the same shape, meaning... When you're gonna put the next, the next scale, it's gonna fit right there. And you're still gonna overlap it too, okay? So like I said, push it down. Now the mud patch is a little dry, so now you could push it down. Okay? So I'm not going to finish the entire cup, because if not, we'll be here to tomorrow. But, you know, I just want to give you an idea how to place the scales. Once again, overlap it with that one, so each corner is going to meet. Angie, the scales are cut out of cardstock. Uh, people have been asking me if they could do it with vinyl. I'm pretty sure you could do it with vinyl, but you're not gonna get the 3D effect that you suppose that you wanna get um, with this cup. So place the scale. Make sure they're straight, guys, because you don't want it, you know. So place the scale, overlap it with the next, with the other, with the one that you placed before. And this is this you're gonna do throughout the that's what I'm saying. This takes time, sky. So sit down on your couch and watch the show like I do. So you see, when you placing the scales, make sure that this they the, this one is overlapping and this one, and the two corners meet. So when you place the one in the middle. This is the result you're going to get. Now, it's your choice, the size of the scales that you want. For this cup, I wanted a small. So I have more, I could see more of the 3D effect on the cup. Um, any questions about this part? Or should I move on to the next step? Okay, so no question, ladies. So I could um, tell you what else after you finish doing this. Okay. Once you finish um, putting
put in all the scales. This is what you're gonna have. You have it, you're gonna have it in white, but I um I painted mine black with the shock shock board. Shock what's the name of the no I'm sorry with black gesso and this is what's gonna give it that antique look. Um if you want to make one with a light color and you don't want it the you don't want the antique look do not paint it black because you're never gonna get the color you want if you're gonna do let's say you want to paint it purple or whatever and you don't want the antique look don't paint it black i paint it black because i like um I like the antique look on the dragon. Jamie, I painted, I didn't spray paint it. I used the um, black gesso paint, like you put it as a primer. So that's what I did. Then, oops, I forgot the scissors. Give me one minute. Okay, so this is what you're gonna have. You know, you, um, I didn't even wait it to dry because the Mod Podge dries fast. So, you wanna cut the rest and you have to make sure it's even with the lip of the cup because if you don't, when you put the epoxy, you're never gonna be able to seal it. Um, I would say, Jamie, that it would probably, I'm not sure because I haven't painted it, but, you know, cardstock, it's paper. <laughs> so you don't want to over paint uh, the paper. So I decided, that's why I decided, I don't know how other people do it. They probably spray paint it, but, you know, I just... I didn't so like I said make sure you cut in it even so when you put the um, the epoxy it would seal I do have to tell you though with this cup you have to put the past uh, the epoxy on the rim because if not it's not gonna seal Thank you, honey. Maybe. Okay, so you got the point. You know, just make sure you cut it where it's even with the rim. So what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna start painting it. And what the way I'm gonna paint it, I'm gonna do a dry, a dry brush technique. So what you do, you put a little bit of paint. Ooh, I said a little. Whatever. This paint was 98 cents in, uh, in Walmart, so I put too much paint. So what you wanna do, I got this brush, but I didn't have the, the brush before, and I used a makeup brush that I had. So I bought this brush for a um, dry brush. What you wanna do is you wanna wet your brush and dry it as much as you can. You don't want heavy paint on the brush. And then you're gonna go like this. It doesn't look pretty, guys, but don't get scared. So what that's going to do is going to, you know, show you. 
every little scale I put in there. Like I said, hardly any brush. I'm sorry, hardly any paint, because if not, you don't want, you see what I did here? Because I wasn't paying attention. When you start painting a cup, it looks horrible. Then when you have the finished results, like I said, you do the scales the size you want. I want a small scale, so. Forget the booty. I always say, don't forget the booty. Wow, this one was really heavy. Anyway, let's see what happens. Okay, next, I have this metallic, um, it's like a paste. And I got it in green, purple, silver, and turquoise. So that's what we're gonna use to paint the cup. Like I said, I wanted to do something fast. So what you do, you just go like this, and you control how much you want. That's why I say don't worry, you know, you don't want a lot of paint, but you know, you could cover it with the uh, metallic paint that we're gonna be rubbing on the... When you paint in a cup like this, it's whatever, because if you messed up, there's always another color that you could put on, you could put on it. Um, this one's I got it on AC Moore, but Michael has it has has it Hobby Lobby has it. Um, when I bought it, I think they're like five dollars. When I bought it, um, like three of the the colors I bought, I have a couple of others. Hi, Nikki. And they were on clearance, so I paid like two dollars. So it doesn't look pretty, I know. It doesn't have to be perfect. Once you apply all your colors, that's when you wanna start blending in colors to, you know, give it the look you want. Like I said, if you don't want it, if you don't want your cup to look antique, um, yeah, if they have any question of the products that I use, I, I could put it on the, on the video. 
later on. So like I said, if you don't want it to look antique, do not, do not paint it black because I was trying to do something else with the other cup and the colors wouldn't, you know, wouldn't work with me. So now I'm going to do a little bit of the turquoise and I grab too much. And if you go over the purple a little bit, it doesn't matter. We are going to blend it in. And like I said, if you messed up, it doesn't matter because you could paint over paint and fix whatever. This one is so soft. I am putting like way too much and I don't like it. You do want it, you know, you do want the two colors to meet. And then later on, whatever you don't like, you change. Paint over whatever. My God, this one is so soft and I'm putting like a lot. No, Nikki, this is a metallic. It comes like this. It's like a paste. It's really, really pretty colors. Okay, you have the two colors meet, and then we could fix it, you know. Like I already messed up the purple here. I put a little bit green way too low. Actually, this would be really nice, these colors, for a, like a mermaid cup or, um, Jesus, my English sucks, guys. Sorry for my accent. Um, damn, I can't get the word. If I say it the way I want to say it, so you guys know what I'm talking about, my husband is going to come out and hit me. <laughs> okay. I personally love turquoise. Peacock. That's what I was trying to say. Like a peacock uh, cup. Now the top, I always like to like rub more paint. <clears throat> Make it more pronounced. I don't know why, the last scales on the top. No, not a peekaboo cup, uh, a peacock. You know, with the long feathers, I don't know. I think it's a peacock. Sorry guys, my English do suck. <laughs> you do? Yeah, I, I, I love these colors. I'm a fan of mermaids. I love mermaids. If I tell you how much, how many freaking files with mermaids I have, and I, I, I only made one cup. One cup with mermaid scales. But I was thinking about making. Yes, <laughs> that's why I was trying to get the name right, but I couldn't, uh, Jamie. You know, I was thinking about making um, like a mermaid, like a 3D, like a cup and put like a mermaid tail here made out of clay 
I actually made a mix uh, media uh, media canvas. And I made it for me. I left it in my in my craft room. <clears throat> okay, guys. So far, this is what we have. Now. I miss a spot here. Now, I don't want the colors to... You think so? I could do a really nice mermaid tail. I wish I had brought it. I have it in my craft room. Craft room. Now, I don't want my colors to look like that. I want them to... Uh, meet a little more like less you know crowns so what you do you go really light and then you bring it down i don't know if you guys could see like i said i'm not good at computers and i mean i'm kind of good at computers phone and stuff so now you work on your colors meeting each other I'm making it look the way you want. But really light. Like, because when you put it the first time, you're trying to cover all the, you know, the black. Not cover it completely, but you know what I mean. So. Yeah, you, you want to blend the colors, definitely. You don't want to make it look like, you know, you just throw them in there. Yes, I will share mermaids. I, I'm always sharing files. I don't mind, you know, sharing my stuff, guys. You know, if you need something and I have it, I will gladly, gladly share it. I'm always giving, you know, whoever asks me, I have to be careful with this one because this one is so soft. This this one here, the other ones are like hotter. So I put my finger there and I had to dig to get the color out. And this one is like, I'm putting way too much. I don't care because I like that color, but when you want to blend the color, you don't want to put a lot. Oh, thank you, Tara. Like I said, I'm sorry if you got, you know, like I said, my English is not too good. I have a big accent, and if you do not understand what I'm saying, leave a comment, and I try to explain it to you. I wish you guys spoke Spanish. It would be so much easier for me. It's like my tongue doesn't want to work. The, the cool thing is that even though you try blending it, you still see the color in the bottom. You know, the bottom color. So, I like that. See? Hey, Jennifer, how are you? Oh, no. Terry, my husband always makes fun of me. When I speak English, he, well, not really fun, like, to make me feel bad. Like, he said, you say cute things, so he hits me. He's like, don't say cute things, I'm gonna hit you. Gotcha, I have every color in this freaking finger. Well, I, you have to learn Spanish, Amy, so you could communicate with me. So we'll do the same thing with the purple. 
And guys, don't be afraid to, you know, just put the color. You could just go like this. So it doesn't, you know, it doesn't have to be, like I said, it's paint. So if you don't like something, you just remove it with the other paint. Hey, Miss Mandy. I was wondering where you were. You still working on your dragon egg? Okay, I think I'm gonna leave it like that. It's, does it look blended? <laughs> oh, like, <laughs> does it look blended to you or? Let me put some green in the bottom. It looks too plain in the bottom. No Espanol? <laughs> Who has triplets? Aren't they pretty? Does it look blended to you? I mean, remember when you put the epoxy, the epoxy change, you know, gives it such a nice look. Now when you put these colors, always put it going down because if you go like this it would leave a mark and it doesn't look nice Jamarco Okay guys, I think I'm gonna leave the bottom purple because I like purple. Just make sure the bottom. These are metallic paint. Uh, They come in these containers. Okay, and I am doing a wash on the silver, with the silver, it's the same kind of paint. Um, no, I did not seal it at all. I just, you know, put the epoxy over it.
You don't have to. Um, no, they don't. Like you can see every color I put in there. I'm actually putting um, the silver on now. Yeah, el morado is muy bonito. Yeah, I, the purple is beautiful. I love turquoise though. That's my favorite color. I am putting an eye on it. Um, what do you guys think? The silver looks good on it or should I just go back with the colors later? I kind of like the silver, but I don't know. The good thing is you could go over. Like if later on, um, I think I put too much silver. I have the blue here and they dry so fast. Look at my plate. I mean, they dry so fast. So you finish doing it and the only thing you have to wait for really is um, for the eye to, to dry. Should I leave the silver on then? Yeah, it's, it's like a paste. Look. And the color is beautiful. Oops. So I put too much silver here and I'm going over with my green. Like I said, I could fix it later on because I know I'm never happy. But, you know, once you put the silver on it, it kind of gives it another... What do you guys think? Yes, I will. Okay, guys, time for the eye. I'm going to put the eye on. I made it earlier because the, this needs to um, dry for a very long time and since I decided to do the cup, these colors earlier, I made the eye to match the, uh, the cup. <clears throat> so what you will see sometime with the cardstock, and this is why I didn't want to paint it, uh, I think Nikki was the one that asked if you spray paint it. You see the car stuck right there? You're gonna get some of that because it's paper. So sadly, I won't be able to cover that, but once you have the epoxy, you know, that's not even gonna show. I have one right here that is bothering me though. So guess what? The eye is gonna go there. Um, Stephanie, I'm gonna try to do the tutorial on the eye really quick if you guys are willing to stay for a little longer. It's, it's a lot of steps, so I don't know if you want me to do it now, you, you guys want me to do it later. You know, the, uh, I made the entire eye. So you tell me what you want. If you want me to teach you the eye, I would do the eye now. I do sell them for $5, so... You tell me what you want. I'm going to glue it and you guys make up your mind. Jesus, why do I have a gold one? Oh, this is silver. How do you... Oh, um, I have different kind of glues. I have this one today. I'm gonna put it on the eye. I'm gonna wait for a second before I put it on the cup. Uh, I like the other glue that I use, but I don't remember what I did with it. Um, because the other one, you put it on the eye and you leave it for a little bit, for like two minutes, and then you attach it, and the eye stay, stay in place. This one, it stays wet for a while, but it's a good glue. Don't take me wrong. So, 
And this one smells so strong. I mean, I could get high and I'm a little crazy without the smell of the glue. <laughs> yeah, the scales are made out of uh, cardstock. You could, I'm pretty sure you could do it with, um, Jesus, with vinyl. But the main reason you do, you want to do um, a dragon scale cup is because of the 3D effect. So if you do the vinyl, it's going to be, it's going to be, uh, yeah, it's, it's not going to be a 3D. Yeah, Janice, I like E6000. It just smells so strong, and I suffer from migraine headaches. So I really don't like to use it. I use another one, but I was doing an eye for somebody, and uh, a cup for somebody. I don't know what I did with the other glue. But I like the other glue because this one stays wet for a while. The other one, I put it on, and I wait for like two, three minutes, and then it would stay in place. So I find the place that I wanted to show. And there is my eye. Actually, once you put the eye on the cup, it gives it a really nice look. <laughs> what do you guys think? Uh, rapid fuse. No, I don't think so. I bought a lot of different kind of glue because I did all the, um, I did all my daughter's wedding decorations and oh my God, we went through glue. So I tried every little bit of glue and the glue that I found that I'm telling you, I don't know what I did with, I loved it. Yeah, I have chronic migraines too. All right, um, so I'm done with the cup, guys. I hope you like it. Uh, I hope you learned something from me. I'm a little crazy, so don't mind me. And um, Tara, um, I'm going to look uh, through the messages to uh, write down the name of that glue. What do you mean you way up? Oops. You see what I'm saying? With the six, E6000, it fell off. With the other one, you just put it on and it stays. So let me just put it on and just lay it down until it dries. And the smell drives me crazy. So just gonna put it down here. Where am I gonna put it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, when you do the scales, you start in the uh, at the bottom, all the way to the top. Okay, guys, so let's start with the eye. <laughs> Don't worry, Nikki, I got you. <laughs> okay, to do the eyes. No, it's not Gorilla Glue. I'll put the name in the description later if you guys want it uh, work. <laughs> well, you know what? My English sucks, but I, I spell so good. Like, I could spell with no problem. How about I get paint on my shirt? Okay, ready for the eyes? I am loud, but my house has a big echo, so I'm not screaming. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to pick up a little bit so I have space to work on the eye. Okay, I usually buy, um, it's, it's like a pack of resin, like in a shape of an eye or whatever, but it's kind of expensive. And I found 
I found these at the dollar store. They come in a pack like this. They have in small, medium, and large. I use the medium ones, and they work great. The only thing is that sometimes you have to look which one it's in good shape because like this one here is cracked. So you don't want one that is cracked. This one here is perfect. Let me see. Okay. So what I use to paint the eyes is nail polish. You need nail polish of the colors that you are uh... <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Um okay, to do the eye, I use nail polish, whatever color eye you want to do. Uh for this one here, I use greens only. And I use a gold one. I have to make a purple because someone ordered a purple one. I think it was Michelle. You need the tools to um, to do the eye, but I'm gonna try to use only one tool so you guys don't get freaking confused with all the crap that I have here because as you see, I have a lot of stuff. I'm sorry guys, I'm trying to... And you need a dotting tool. So we're gonna start making the iris. You're gonna get the black paint. Ooh. I mean the black nail polish. And you're going to make a line on the center. Now, don't put a glop of paint. I, I was going to... What tool, Nikki? Or oh, this tool. I'm trying to use only, uh, you know, less tools so you guys don't get confused and go crazy. I'm gonna make a mess. I don't like the eyes when they print them out. I mean, personally, I think because I guess I know how to make an eye. I think it looks better if you make it. Can you guys see what I'm doing? You don't want a glob of pain. So what you're gonna do is, oh, I got the wrong tool. Oh, 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 oh. This is the tool you want to start with the eye. So what you're gonna do, I'm trying to point it out. You're gonna go like this, like bring, bring out the color. I mean, I can't do it like this because I can't see what I'm doing. But you make a line and you put enough uh, nail polish that you could get the paint from the middle and bring it out. And then you make, it's like... I'll show you once it's done because... You see what I'm doing there? I made a line and I'm just... Come on freaking phone, getting the paint to come out from the middle and we'll add another, a little bit of more paint. What you do know, what you, uh, you do need patient. Yeah, I know. I, if I tell you, my husband is going to kill me because I have paint everywhere. I start working on my stuff and I don't care where. 
I started on my countertop. I j yesterday, I was putting the scales with the big cutting board. And then I decided to open the paint. And I have black paint in my cutting board. Can you see, can you guys see what I did? I don't know why I can get, I think the reflection of the light is messing this up. Can you see? Okay. <laughs> you see, I knocked the paint again. Do you guys understand this part? You just put a line and with this tool, I don't know how you call this tool. I have all kinds of tools for my clay. It looks like the weeding tool I have, but you know, with this tool, I just, you know, get the paint and take it out. I don't know how to say it. All right, so now we're gonna get the black paint again. You would think I have a lot of paint. No, I don't. And then you're gonna do the same thing. I don't know if I should bring the camera close. I don't wanna to touch the camera, guys. And you're gonna go like this, all around the... I have to do it here because I can't see what I'm doing. You're gonna go all around. Oh my God, my pain. Why does everything has to be so hard? I think my paint is giving up on me, like it's done. Like lady, you did too many eyes with me, buy a new one. Okay, this is what you want to do. You do it all around. And then with this end of the tool, you're gonna kind of like scrape it off. Not the whole thing, but you're gonna do it the same way you were doing the, applying the paint. That's the same way you're gonna go all around. And you're gonna see like that. It looks like the little hairs. I don't know. Not hairs. You don't have ha hairs on the eye, but. <laughs> then that is too light for me. I wanna have more depth in the, in the eye. So I'm gonna go over it with the same black paint. Now, when you do, when you put it on the paint, don't, don't just put a big glob, you know, cause you don't want, then it's gonna be hard for you to kind of shape it to what you're supposed to. I think I'm a very bad teacher. You guys are gonna fire me.
And then we're gonna do the same thing. Okay, this is what we have so far. Now remember to paint on the flat side. I don't have to tell you that. Yeah, sculpting tools. I just don't know the name of each tool because I have so many tools and I use whatever I think I, I want to use to do what I'm doing. So I know the sculpting tools. I just don't know what this tool, the name of this tool is. But I have a tool similar to this that I use for weeding the, the vinyl, so that's why I said it looks like the, the, the one I use for the, um, the weeding. Okay, now you want to start with the darker green. Sadly, this is the darkest green I had. <laughs> so you're going to start painting. Ooh. You see, that's too much paint. You're gonna start painting all around. The, where you uh, did the black, you're gonna do the green or whatever color you're using. Always start with the darker color, um, the darkest you have. And then as you go inside, I think I paid $16 on Amazon for it? Ladies, you guys gonna get me in trouble because I'm giving you prices here. My husband is listening. But yeah, they, they come, it comes with a lot of tools. I'm sorry this tutorial is long because I wasn't planning on doing the eye. Okay, and we're gonna do the same thing. Go over it. Like you're scraping off some of the paint, not all of it. Clean your tool because then you don't want to have it there all gooey. Okay. When you do the first coat, you won't see, you know, too much of a difference. I can't even. Can you see the green there? You gotta give it another coat. What you're doing is a scraping some of the paint and then when you put the other coat, the paint is gonna get where you scraped before. So it's gonna give her, you know, it's gonna make it darker because you don't want it so plain.
Can you see, can you guys see what I'm doing? So I can't put it on the camera, so, and I don't want to touch my phone or the life is going to be over because I knocked it down before. Okay, so far this is what we have. So you give it a coat of, two coats of the black one and two coats of the darker green. Then you move on to the other paint. And then you're gonna go over it again. Never touching the black part because we already did that and you don't want to mess that up. So you're going to put the lighter green now. And do the same thing. It's mainly what you're doing is adding color and adding more definition to the eye. So you start with the darker color and then you go down, but I don't have another brush. Da -da -da -da. I'm going to have to use the same one. This one is just regular paint that I'm using. Because I didn't have a light green. Can you guys see the different <clears throat> the difference in the eye? I don't know what I did. Okay. Now last I'm gonna put the gold and that's gonna stay in the middle. You, actually, you could paint the gold everywhere. It doesn't matter because we're going to scrape it. The only thing you don't want to do is put the greens and stuff in top of the black part that you painted. I don't know what happened, but I don't see the comments anymore. So... I think the light is just like messing it up. Okay. I don't see the comments guy. Oh, I see one, but it's showing differently anyway. So I painted the, the the light green and in top I painted the gold. Now the gold is only, um, the green is only gonna get, gonna be up to here and up to here. You do not want to have any green whatsoever 
or whatever color that you do in your eye in top of the this part. You don't want it there because, you know, you'll messed up what you just did. So the gold, it doesn't matter because the gold, it's, you want it there for, to have it around the eye. So we're going to scrape this one more time. Without, you see, I start like in the center, but do not, I don't, I don't touch the, uh, Gotcha. I, I wish I knew the, the right words. I know you guys know what I'm saying. You understand what I'm saying. Every time we do the scraping, you know, you do as many, uh, as many uh, layers you like. Every time you scrape, you're giving it more texture. So I'm going to give it one more of the gold. And we'll be done with the iris. Uh, we're done with the eye, guys. I don't know if you could see it. Now it needs to dry, and that's it. Um, I will leave. Do you guys want the rest of the eye? I mean, this it's a lot of work. I don't know if you guys want to wait. And I do a, t a whole tutorial, or if you want me to do that really quick, what do you guys want? God, I wish I could see the comments. Are you going to do that? That's all I see. I don't see nothing else. Okay, let me do the outside, uh, the outside, the eye, the full eye, and if you guys, yes, now I could see, when you write a lot of stuff, I won't be able to see it, just more of the eye, LOL, <laughs> okay, so, I have clay, this is $7 or something, We're gonna let the eye dry. The hell? Okay, so you're gonna get the clay. I better not be missing my Yankee game. And I don't have the other roller, so I, I, I use this because I don't bake anyway. So you wanna make it flat. Not completely flat, but Something that you could work on because you're gonna do the base of the eye with this. My eye is still wet, so but we're gonna do it and see what happens. We're gonna put the eye on the clay. I hope it doesn't get messed up because you see the paint is wet. But once I'm done with this one, I'll throw it away anyway. This is just to show you guys. The, the, I didn't mess up the eye, but the paint is wet. So we are gonna cut it in the shape of an eye. 
giving it some space so we could work on it. And here we have the eye. So far so good. Oh my God, record the game. I'm gonna die if I miss it. Oh. Okay, so we have the base of the eye. Okay, so we're gonna start building the eye from here. So we're gonna make two. Excuse my fingers, my nails are gone. For some reason, my hands are so dry. And I can't get it to roll in the thing. But you get the point. We're gonna go. And I need a little longer. There you go. We're gonna place one on the top and press it down here. It's hard because the, the eye is wet. So it's moving. Yes, Raymond is my husband. <laughs> He's giving free eyes if we win the game. Can you believe that? Like if he's making it. Bay, can you give me some water, please? I hope it comes out because the eye is freaking wet, so. It keeps moving. I need to cut this hair, it's driving me insane. I'm making a simple eye, guys, because. Here you go, mama. Thank you, babe. It's okay, honey. The video is gonna be posted anyway. I wish I could make the eye better. It doesn't have to be thin, it doesn't have to be thick. Yeah, my hair is just too long. I love my hair long because my hair is curly. And I cannot, in, for my life, have short hair. And I, I live in Florida. I wish I could have short hair. Yeah, I'm no clue. But I look like a freaking bell. I'm trying to do this and it's not working, guys. I'm sorry. And I didn't bring water to make the... It's not rolling, what the hell? You could just put it like that, you could curl it, whatever you wanna do. I curl mine, but then I put texture so you can't even see that it's curled. 
And then with this tool, you want to press it down so they stay together and they don't come off. Let me try these. This is this is a water brush. You put water inside, and of course I didn't put water. No wonder it's not working. The water my husband just brought me. My clay is kind of dry and I think it's because the AC is right here. It's hitting me right here. So I'm just wetting it a little bit. So it makes me work with it better. So you want to use this tool to kind of make them look together, you know, like, so you don't see a line. guy we have the eyes so now we just gotta do some oops I'm gonna I'm actually gonna use a dotting tool to give the eye some uh, texture I can't see all the comments, so hopefully if you post something and it's not like uh, long, I'll be able to read it, but if not, I can't read it. I use lace, you told I use lace for what? For the eye? Okay guys, I'm gonna do another because this one came out too thin. I don't know if I should do another. No, everything is done with the uh, with the clay. See, I like this a little thicker over here, and I made it too thin. So, instead of breaking it all apart, I'm just gonna mush it up or something. See, when I do these and I'm alone, I have no problem. Not because you guys are watching. Everything is a disaster. Oops. Oh, 
It's not growing. It's not pressure. I don't know. It's. I mean, if something doesn't come out right, you guys are not going to kill me, you know? <laughs> That's why this is arts and crafts. Sometimes it wants to work for you, sometimes it doesn't want to work for you. You know, I just want to be able to teach you guys and, you know, do the right thing. But sometimes it doesn't want to work. So we have the eyelid. You can you kind of form it, you know, give it a shape. I hope you guys understand what I'm trying to do here. I can't get closer to the camera because then I don't see what I'm doing. And we're gonna go with the dotting tool again. It's just to give a texture. You're welcome. I, you know, like I said, I hope you guys learn. I do sell the eyes, but you know, you don't have to buy it from me. That's why I'm teaching you. But some people are like, uh, I don't know if I want to, if I want to go through all the trouble. This is just a simple technique. There's other ways to do it. Like this one here, you know, it's more work. To it but my Yankee game is on and we need to win tonight and not because my husband offered a free eye okay <laughs> yes um this one here I usually bake the eye anyway uh, you don't have to you could just leave it, um, yeah, the whole eye is clay. This is, the only thing is not clay is the iris that I made before. Um, um, you don't have to bake it. You know, if you're in a hurry, you bake the freaking eye. But if not, I do it at night. I make them at night. And when you make the eye, you have to make sure you put it on the cup, meaning, I can't do it now, but you have to put it on the cup to, get, to give it the shape. Because if you leave it like this all night, it's going to be flat. And then you won't be able to put it on your cup. So once you're done with the eye, once you're done doing everything you have to do with your eye and you like the way it looks, place it on the cup and let it dry. You know... I do bake my stuff, but you can't really bake the eye because then you're going to lose the form of the cup and you can't put, I don't think you could put this in the oven. I wouldn't try it anyway. I, I'm a mess in the kitchen. I burn things. I break things. So you don't want me in the kitchen. Oh yeah, I have a, a big mouth. At least I didn't say a bad word. I usually say mother flower. I don't even say the bad word. Okay, guys, we almost done with the eye. Now we're gonna cut little pieces and make little balls. And we're gonna put it here. This is too big. <sighs> you don't wanna make them too big. Like if one of them is, you know, a couple of them is big, it's fine. But, because they don't have to be all the same shape, but um, you don't want to just put a big one there because you want to cover the spot. 
So you're gonna put one there. Put another one. I'm gonna put another one here. Once we cover that, we go with the dotting tool, the bigger one, and you make a hole in the middle, and that will make it attach it there. <laughs> yeah, you know what? My husband tell me, watch out what you say. But you know what, guys? I want you guys to be yourself, you know, even in the group, you know, um, I, we are grown ups, you know, who doesn't say, who doesn't say hell, who doesn't say, you know, shit, you know, I want you guys to be yourself, you know, we could respect each other, we could make jokes, I want us to be free, you know, not like you have to wash out because there are kids around, we are adults. We all have bad days that we want to send everybody to hell and don't want to deal with anybody. But I'm a happy person most, most of the time. So I do have my bad days. <laughs> but you guys, the other day I was so upset and you guys helped me, cheer me up. So I really appreciate that. And like I said, if you guys ever need help with anything, I could help. I don't mind. Like I said, I'm wetting a little bit my uh, my clay because my clay, I left it outside. I don't know why it's getting so dry. And I'm not buying no more. I have plenty. Just um how can i say it <laughs> my husband say that because i'm nice i think everybody's like me so i i don't know i get hurt constantly <laughs> i'm very sensitive even though i'm always happy and you know i like helping and stuff like that you know i'm very sensitive Guys, I'm sorry I've been keeping you guys here, but you guys asked for it. Yes, I always get, I don't know who put that. I can't see who's posting, who's writing, but yes, all the time, all the time. But I don't care the way I see it. I don't care if they take advantage of, if people take advantage of me, the way I see it, there's a God up there and he knows that whatever I do, I do it from the bottom of my heart. So, you know, it is what it is. All I'm doing is adding a little more of these. Uh, I don't even know what, what I would call this thing. <laughs> okay, all you English speaking per people, can you tell me how would you call this thing? It's part of the eye, I guess, like to give her a, a texture, a different texture, I guess. Oh my God, this clay is gonna be the death of me today. Okay, you guys, so far so good. You understand what I'm doing here? Even though it doesn't wanna stay. What? I words. <laughs> I don't know if that's the... I don't know if that would be the, 
the description, but it works for me. I don't care. I don't even know what it would be called. Um, I can't, hey, pause the video and get, I can't read the rest. What happened, man? Oh, okay. <laughs> As long as I don't have the words, I'm fine with the dragons having it. Now this is your preference. You put as much as you want. Oh, I, will, I could go for a beer. Want a beer, baby? Not over here. No. Oh, can you go to the... Um, uh, forget it. Yeah, can you go to the, the craft room and bring me the, the mermaid thingy? I love that mermaid. I do. Can we be? <laughs> I want to be. I don't drink beer, but I am so thirsty. I vape. And when I vape, I get really thirsty. I quit smoking three years ago. But don't ask me to quit vaping. Because I love it. Love it, love it, love it. It's in the wall, Papi, hanging. Okay, you don't need to do this, but I have to do it because my clay is giving me problem. I don't think I sealed it right, so it's kind of dry. Just put it there. Thank you. Yes, it, it was hard, but <clears throat> I used to have a blood clot in my brain and, you know, I was getting chats to get rid of it because the doctor told me if I go for surgery, I could stay on the table. And, um, and I used to smoke two packs a day. So I said, listen, if I haven't died yet, when is my turn is my turn. So I'm not going to have surgery and, you know, I got my kids, you know, I thought about my kids, not even me. I don't care about me anymore. My kids, you know, so I said, what other ways we could treat it? And they told me, he told me to get shots. So I finally got rid of the freaking blood clot, but I can't get rid of my migraines. The blood clot is gone, thank God. Okay, this here, it's all the same. Whatever you want to add, how many? Yeah, two packs. Can you believe it? And my kids used to tell me, I never smoke in front of my kids. Never. But, you know, I'm my own boss. So, every from client to, to client, I will smoke two or three cigarettes in one drive. You know, in a 20-minute drive, I will smoke three cigarettes. You know, just chilling there. <laughs> and, um... You know, my, my kids were like, Mom, you stink. And I never knew, you know, I spent so much money in perfumes and stuff. For what? You know, I'm pretty sure I smell like a walking cigarette. And I'm so happy now that I don't smoke. But I do vape. I love vaping. Oh, oh, your father died of lung cancer. I'm sorry. Yeah, you know what? I was always scared, but when you smoke, you don't think, you know, that's going to happen to you or whatever. You don't really think. You just, you need it. It's not like you want to do it. Like, I didn't want to do it for fun. I 
I just needed the nicotine, so. Okay, we do, we're really done with the eye. You know, you add as many as you want. The only thing I have left to do, it does seem fuzzy. You can't see the video? Go fix it, Raymond. I don't know, it has to be Facebook. I haven't touched the phone because I didn't want to, you know, mess it up again. Can you see what I'm doing though? That's all I care. That you guys can see what I'm doing. Oh, you want me to put like index card? Hold on a minute. A piece of paper? Maybe because the eye is the color of the tile? How about now? Guys, I can't see all the comments, so I'm sorry. I will go back and read each of them, and then if you ask for something, I'll, I'll answer it because I can't see for some reason. I think I can see it now. Can you guys see the eye better now? This is what we have so far. You guys don't hate me because this tutorial has been so long. So we are gonna make little triangles. And we're going to attach them on the top. See, but I need something to... I'm trying to do it, but the paper doesn't let me... Watching the game without me. Oh my god, no! Look what I do for you guys, for you ladies. I'm missing my game.
Good night, Nikki. We almost done anyway, so you're not gonna miss much. Alright guys, we are done with the eye. I'm sorry the tutorial was long, but you guys asked for the eye too, so like I said, all you gotta do is put it in your cup, mold it to your cup, and let it dry to the next day. And this is the eye we finished together today. Alright? Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. I know it was long, I'm so sorry, so sorry, but you know, like I said, uh, I wanted to give you the cup and I'm sure that a lot of you probably were just waiting for the eye. So I wanted to do the eye really quick, but the eye takes time and I couldn't do any faster. Thank you for watching. Uh, um, if you have any question, let me know. And I'm here for you, ladies. If you need files, and I have the file, I will gladly share it with you. Anything you need. If I know, I will definitely give you the answer. Thank you for everything. Have a good night. I'm going to enjoy my game. And like I said, Shelly, I sell them for $5. I'm teaching you guys if you guys don't want to make it. I sell them for $5 and the color that you want and I do, you do need patience, but I love it. I love you guys. Thank you for being with me and thank you for supporting me in the group. Have a good night. Bye.